Hey guys and welcome back to the channel for a very special unboxing today. Um, even had to get the uh, cotton gloves out for this one. <laughs> um, but it is none other than a Grand Seiko as you can see from the box. Oh wow, I'm super excited for this. Um, so I, after having the uh, Seiko Saab, so the Cocktail Time and a couple of other Seiko 5 automatics, been super impressed with Seiko, the automatic watches and JDM pieces. So obviously I was naturally drawn to the pinnacle of Japanese watchmaking, Grand Seiko itself. So yeah, let's get straight into the unboxing and check out this piece. So it is none other than the Grand Seiko SBGA 109. So the 10th anniversary of Spring Drive and Grand Seiko limited edition model. If you get some zoom action happening, look at that dial. Were absolutely incredible. So this model is actually affectionately known as the tatami mat dial. If I can get to, oh wow. Look at that play of light and reflection. I hope you guys can kind of make out that tatami mat kind of uh, cross uh, stitching. And yeah, look at that reflect, look at the interplay of uh, light, light and shadow off the dial. Beautiful. So we have those uh, blued hands, so for the uh, seconds and also the uh, the power reserve down here. At the moment it's uh, just running on empty. Got the simple uh, date function and the nice kind of railroad markers around the outside for the seconds. My god, this is an incredible piece. Also got to say it's super light. So this is actually a titanium model. This is a proprietary uh, titanium by uh, Seiko, but yeah, very, very light, which, which I think I really like because I have really small wrists, so it's kind of be really comfortable for me to wear. But yeah, check out that Zeratsu polishing. And on the side, we've got the uh, the GS stamp on the crown, or as a uh, Minute Watch would say, shout out to Kurt, good shit. <laughs> oh, man, I am a happy man right now. This is by far a lot, lot better than I expected, and I expected a lot after having the uh, the Seiko Saab cocktail time, as you guys have seen the videos on my channel already. And so the uh, the bracelet itself, so titanium three link with the alternative matte and polished but yeah that complements the uh, the dial on the case perfectly also on the clasp we've got the uh, the GS stamp as well my god this is super I'm speechless guys this is superb so yeah this one is actually so this model is a uh, it's actually a spring drive. It's a kind of hybrid um, mechanical quartz movement made by Seiko. But really this is the maybe pinnacle of um, watchmaking and Japanese watchmaking and technology. But look at the sweep of the second hands. Can you see that? Look how smooth that is. That is absolutely surreal. I think I could sit here and just watch that. That just puts you into a trance. Wow. That's absolutely fluid. I've never seen anything like that before. I've seen high beat models before, but this is just something else. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, that blue, I love it. So anyway, um, the movement in this piece um, is the 9R15, which is actually dubbed the uh, Super Spring Drive. Um, oh, look at those Tokyo stripes. So yeah, the movement has 30 jewels. And if you look, it has that uh, very beautiful Grand Seiko gold medallion as well, counterweight. Oh, that reflection. 
fantastic. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm just going to hit you guys with a wrist shot right now. This is just... I'm just lost for words. Um, so this model is 40 millimeters. Um, so I think that's perfect size for me, with my wrist being a little smaller, at about six and a half inches. Oh, look at that. This is, this is a beautiful kind of sporty, but still kind of dress watch, which you could wear out, you know, with a nice shirt or even a casual suit jacket as well. Let's zoom out so and get some focus action happening again. Yep, there we go. Guys, the fit and finish of this is simply incredible. Simply incredible, and that is so light. Far out. Expect it to be a little heavier. I mean, I've you know worn a Rolex before. My friends had a Blue Dial Datejust, and um, I've been on holiday in Dubai. I've tried on a Gold Yachtmaster, which was super heavy. But this is so light. This is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to check in with the uh, review of this, guys. Absolutely. But anyway, for now, as you can tell, I'm a very happy man. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna close it, at, close it out here right now. I'll hit you guys um, with some wrist shots and some photography just to really let you see the different angles and facets that this watch really gives off. And yeah, I'll check in with a review um, after I've had some more time on the wrist with it. So maybe after a week or a month. But yeah, for now, guys. I'm, I'm out and I'm gonna go and enjoy this watch for a bit so for now that's it so if you like the video don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment and if you enjoy the watch videos don't forget to subscribe and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video bye YouTube